So I'll talk next about a phase two study we ran of nivolumab, so a checkpoint inhibitor, after CAR-T failure in lymphoma or myeloma. The idea being is that you know we don't know why CAR-T cells stop working for patients. Some of it may be antigen loss, but some of it we think may be driven by the tumor microenvironment or by the basically T cells getting exhausted. And the idea is that checkpoint inhibitors like nivolumab, which are extremely well studied in solid malignancies, may have a role in, in hematologic malignancies as well. Since we started this study, it turns out that it doesn't really work in lymphoma. Several groups have published, there's been one prospective study of pembrolizumab, a different checkpoint inhibitor after CD19 CAR-T therapy and lymphoma failure, and that didn't really work at all. We decided to look at nivolumab prospectively. We actually did a basket study where it included both lymphoma and myeloma. Um, we ended up enrolling 20 patients who had relapsed or who had, had relapsed after CAR-T anywhere from a couple of months after CAR-T to a couple of years, but CAR-T was our last line of therapy for sure. Um, in brief, in lymphoma, similar to prior studies, we found that like one out of 11 responses, so pretty low, and it's difficult to tell whether that was just a function of, you know, nivolumab may work for some patients, but we don't think it was actually, when we looked in the patients where we could, we didn't see any evidence of CAR T cell expansion with checkpoint inhibition. So it didn't do what we were hoping it would do, which would be to kind of wake these T cells up, make them revitalize, less exhaust, and do their job. In myeloma, encouraging, we had two out of nine responses. So that's you know, something a little bit higher than what we've seen in the prior study of checkpoint inhibition monotherapy in myeloma. Actually, there have been studies that were closed earlier for a mortality signal. Here, no mortality signal. Uh, we have some patients with dramatic responses within one cycle, you know, a nine centimeter, you'll see in the poster, nine centimeter uh, lesion of extramedular disease near the kidney completely resolved after one dose of Nevo. Um, another patient had light chain normalization right away. The nice thing about the end, there, were, there was no rebound CR and there was uh, very nothing basically in the way of IRE, so immune-related adverse events. When they did occur, they were mild like pneumonitis and manageable with corticosteroids. So I think the moral from the story is um, that check out inhibition probably is not our go-to when CAR-T stops working. We need to understand who those patients are though for whom it works because for some patients within one cycle they got rapid normalization of disease in the studying of CAR-T failure and were able to maintain that response for in one patient you know almost a year and a half and ongoing. Correlatives, we were hoping to have in time for ASH, we don't quite have them because the big question is, well, well, did the nivolumab attack the myeloma directly or did it actually cause the T cells, the CAR T cells to wake up? We don't know yet, but stay tuned.